What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another requested reaction video. So we are about to get into this respect Zayn Malik. So without further ado guys, we're just gonna hop straight into this video. So let's go. Respect first. Just tell me two things, Zayn. Which one in the band were you? <laughs> and where were you during the Boston Marathon? Oh. How is that funny? What? You've had a rather interesting tattoo um, while yeah. you've been in Los Angeles. It's caused yeah. a bit of controversy. Oh. Can we can we see it? Um, it's in a bit of a private area. It's <laughs> here, isn't it? It's a, bit, it's a bit low down to be showing. But it's, you know a, I mean? it's a large gun. It's a small gun. What what people want to know is why have you had a gun it's tattooed a gun. to your body? It's a water gun. Yeah. It shoots water. It's not though, is it? It is. Eh? It is. So it's, it's, it's got no end on it. Why it's have you had that done? Oh. <laughs> Why have you had a gun? Um, just because I like the way it looks. I wanted to get it tattooed to me. A member of, you know, of, of any... Because he can do that? Whatever is, 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 huh? You know, it could be in your office or it could be anywhere. It's going, you're going to miss them or whatever like that. Um, but, you know, it, it kind of... It, it didn't really... The paperwork is the hardest <laughs> part. I got these from the freelance. And I was writing for a number of tabloids. Very nasty business. It's weird. Sometimes they will be either all for or against someone like Zayn Malik. I got some great lines from someone praising Zayn and. From someone praising Zane and telling a very nice story, need to go talk it to tabloid contacts. And they said, Oh no, can't have anything nice about Zane. <clears throat> Shirt that said, I am not a terrorist. Please don't rip. What? There's been a lot of action on social media about him. Is it something more serious than just a minor? Zane got accused of drug abuse because of the leaked video of him and Louis, or Louis, because you know people love to correct me, of Louis smoking weed. Zane had to take the full blame for it, even though it was Louis who recorded the video. Their illness, there have been rumors of substance abuse. What's going on? No, he's just got a stomach bug. He's okay. He's just he... with four members. I want to know what is the biggest difference in that with himself. I don't give a shit about Jay. Oh, it ain't DJ. Where's our time? I heard you guys. I know you want a date for the album, and I do too. The label is holding me back, but I promise I am doing everything I can to get my music to you. Thank you. You will hear from me soon. Sabotage. Oh! Yeah, Sabotage. Say this a bitch! <laughs> Oh my god, go back. I gotta read that. I didn't read that. Uh, Zane spoke of the, the rumors of him dumping. <gasps> I didn't know they dated! Over text says, I have more respect for Perry than to end everything. Over text messages, I love her a lot and I always will and I would never end our relationship over four years like that. She knows that. I know that and the public should know that as well. I don't want to explain why or what I did, I just want the public to know. self-titled book, Zane reveals quite a bit, including the fact that during his One Direction days, he struggled with eating to the point of making himself ill because he felt it was the only thing he had control over. Ooh. Although Malik is hesitant to use the term eating disorder, he said before that he'd go days without eating anything. He told Sunday, Sunday Times style 
They're going home to the UK to spend time with his mom and enjoy. Her homemade cooking gave him opportunities to meet her mom. I thought it was particularly it funny, but were, were you angry when this guy decides to suddenly leave the band? Um, I mean, because I mean, you were happy in one direction. You yeah. weren't thinking in that mm -hmm. in that area of leaving the band. Mm -hmm. Was that an insult to you? Was that something that he should not have done? Um, I don't. I don't know if I could say it's something he shouldn't have done because I. I just didn't feel that way. So, right. um, either. But maybe he could have handled it better. Yeah, I think like it was a shame. It was a shame, and like it was like in a tour, and I think. If he'd come to us and maybe kind of discussed it a little more, we might have found a way to kind of do it a little smoother. But I think I think what you're saying is, even though you're young at that point, mm. there is a way to conduct yourself. I mean, you said it. Right. So there comes a point when it just doesn't work anymore. But the time I finally made the decision to leave One Direction, it didn't even feel like conscious decision i just got to a point where i knew i couldn't go on i was so tired i felt like i was faking it and i hated that i just wanted to go home logically it made no sense leaving the biggest boy band in the world at the height of its success but after nearly five years of non-stop touring and promotion i was really struggling to keep going oh shit oh this is in his book Really, uh, really struggling to keep going and what had been a great experience was now a source of intense anxiety it was never my intention to let anyone down but i knew i had to go i remember finishing a show in hong kong and just feeling it in my gut to this day it makes me feel like shit to think about disappointing the fans that if the fans like that but I hope they understand that I had to do what was right. Sometimes you just know it. My head said stay, but my heart said go home. So in the end, I went. I'd like to take this moment to thank four of the best guys that I ever met um, whilst being in the band and doing all the amazing things that I did. Uh, some of the things that we did will stay with me uh, for the rest of my life and I thank you for that. Um, and yeah, just uh, here's to the future. Thank you very much for everything tonight. What, you're the, you're the womanizer, right? You're the guy who likes the ladies? That's the nice thing. No, he's a, he's a nice guy. You don't get to, no, he has to answer. No, I, I, <laughs> Hey, don't worry about him, man. Have a good one, bro. Harder here to, to get away from the paparazzi? Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, they're just a bit more full on over here. Here, but where? Like good. in America or to, in to the UK? Through, uh, whatever you know, certain issues are around certain subjects. For me personally, I think it, it comes from a place of uh, not ever wanting to uh, come across as an, an over arrogant person or a person that takes himself too seriously. Um, I, I'm not always trying to um, be pretentious or, you know, to say something that I think is going to change the world. Uh, I feel like I'm one voice among millions. I'm really thankful for that because yeah. one of the main things I like to hold on to in my personality is the fact that I'm quite grounded. So, um, yeah, I'm thankful that I'm from a place like that because they are quick to pull you back down to earth if you get a bit over yourself. A couple of things that I needed to say to people that, uh, you know, necessarily might have been misconstrued in other forms of media that had been out there. So I just wanted to clarify that, you know, I was grateful for everything that was given to me prior to my solo career and that perceived as um, me not being grateful was down to me having some sort of issue myself and not necessarily being able to express that was something that I wanted to explain to people. My girl, everybody wanna take her heart away Couple billion in the whole wide world Find another one cause she belongs to me Everybody wanna steal my girl And if you win, who are you gonna thank? Um, 
if we win, fingers crossed, I'm going to thank Mummy. I was never really the type of kid that would like follow a trend or like do something because everybody else was kind of doing it. Like I wanted to do something because I wanted to do it. If, if this is another one of them things where you're trying to you know, be sly, I, I can always follow you, Scott, if you want. Right here. Would you, okay, is this a pop star promise or what? No, it's not a pop star promise. I'm a real person. I'm yeah. a pop star. Um, and also a big, big, big thank you to my f***ing fans, because you guys are sick. And um, I didn't expect anybody to still vote for me, so thank you for voting for me. And uh, I'll put it on my fireplace. Thank you. How do you feel about being on my show? Um, I'm very excited about the fact that um, I get to share this massive honour with Thank you. Thank you. And, <laughs> Oh my goodness. I think this is my first. I'm not, I don't think I've reacted to him before. I feel like I did. I've been doing so many One Direction uh, reactions. Like, you know, I do the unhelpful guides to um, each artist. Like, when I get introduced to a new one, I always do the unhelpful guides to uh, each individual person. I'm not sure if I did a reaction to him previously, but this is a first. This is like a weird like first introduction to him you know what i'm saying like damn this is dark and then with um little mix and him dating perry so i just like like i said like i get introduced to like different like bands and artists and stuff through these reactions like y'all be putting me on to like different um bands or whatever and the whole time i did not know that they dated like it's because of the reactions that I'm like learning more about One Direction, just like the same thing with Little Mix because of the reactions or whatever. The whole time I did not know that they were a thing um, in the past, but damn, this is, this is, I don't even know what to say. Like, this is a weird introduction to Zane. So yeah, you guys, that was my reaction to this video. That's bogus. Let me just go back to the um the whole terrorist thing like because i really don't understand like how like i i just really don't understand like why the whole thing got put on him was it because of the the, the tattoo is that why he was labeled a terrorist? it has to be more to it like why would he be labeled that i don't know i will have to go i guess more in depth to find out why he had so much hate from um the media because it really just sounds like the media you know what i'm saying but um yeah <laughs> that was my reaction to this video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comments and subscribe and i will see you in my next reaction video